So, my girlfriend called me, my homegirl called me last night. Well, she didn't call me. Well, yeah, she did call me, but first she hit me and said, meet me, want me to meet her at the casino, you know, and I'm like, you know, I, oh boy, I had planned on just chilling out at home and just kind of relaxing, you know, because I'm honestly trying to make some changes with regard to the casino, you know, because it's really not impressive to, at the end of the year, you know, you're doing your taxes and you brag about how much, you know, your ass played, 46, 90,000 or whatever, but it's lost, you know, so I, I, I want to move away from that category. But every single time that I go to the casino, I let myself down. And then I got to thinking, you know what, man, you got the willpower to do that. So let me see, what did I do the other day? I, uh, um, oh, I was gonna go to the casino and just take advantage of one of the free meals. And, um, but every time I normally do that, I get my debit card, get into my overflow and end up coming out of there with the free food, but having left my monies there. Now, granted, when you, um, you know, uh, have goals, you got to put it in perspective and put it in the right category of where you're, what you need to be doing, right? And so leaving your money and losing your money at the casino when you, you're getting ready to move and relocate this year, that's not really a, an option. So having let myself down all the way up until this point, I said, okay, Lynn, once you start uh, passing the test, if you would, once you start doing the things that you said you're going to do, it's going to become easier and easier. So I was going to go get the free food, but I said, Lynn, leave your card at home. You know, because it's kind of, you know, cold out. The weather here has been kind of crazy, but nonetheless, I said, leave your card at home. And guess what? I left my card at home, walked my bougie ass in there. I thought I had $15 free play, so I was going to play the little $15 while I was waiting on my food. It turns out the $15 was for the other casino, even though they bear the same name. And I'm like, you got to be kidding. All right, so okay. Then I saw uh, a guy there, you know, and I just went over to him and I hugged him and kind of talked to him. I could tell by the expression on his face he was losing his money. But anyway, and uh, I just went and took my little ass in the cafeteria and just waited for them to call me with my pizza, got me some lemonade, and guess what? I brought my ass home. And you know what? It felt really good to have my money still in the bank, right? And so my, my home girl called me last night, so I said, I'm going, I wasn't planning on getting out, but she's like, meet me up there whatever time. And so I did, and then I took my card with me because I said I got the $15 free play there. So I did take my card with me that night, and... I, um, she went and got her something to drink at the bar, and so I just took the $15 and I played that, and I won $16, so I had $16 cash, still without messing with my money, so I went to the bar, and I got me a Tequila Sunrise, and I, uh, you know, played the rest of the $12 or whatever I had left after I got me something to drink. Bottom line is that I did, I took my card, and I put it in the, uh, got my little money out. I had got $100 out. And I put it in the machine. And then I was like, Lynn, as long as you go home with your $100. The goal is to never, 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 ever leave my money at the casino from now on. Because I work hard for my shit. So I said, from now on, try once try twice but after that not at that three or four or five times because they'll let you win one or two times but not no three or four times right and so i put my little hundred dollars in there and that shit that oh my god that shit got down to uh forty dollars and then down to thirty nine dollars and it got it turned red and it got me back up to 150 dollars I think I'm one of the ones that think I know how to win, you know. 
And so it got me back up. And then I thought, it got me up to 150. So I kept playing, you know, because I'm like, if I go home with two or three hundred dollars and win, that'd be pretty good. And so it got me up to 150 and I kept playing. But guess what? This time, pat on the back, I um, got down to $100 and I stopped. Put my other uh, card, the casino card, to see if I had free food there. And I did. And went to the bar, got me some catfish, and I followed her around. And then she's like, you're not going to play no more? You're not going to play no more? I said, well, yeah, but damn sure I'm tempted. I said, but no, I'm not. I said, I've got to keep keep on this roll. And I came home. So that's my goal. And guess what? Again, it felt so good to come back home with $100. That's my shit. And I'm hoping from now on and believing <laughs> and claiming that I'll be able to do it. Because I look at it like this. The casinos are going to be there, you know. When you win, all you winning for is so go home and put the shit in the bank. So, hey, if I could bring my money home, at least my money. And and on the real, I could have brought $150 home, you see. But I'm not going to be mad. Played it back, but I brought my $100 back. You see how I'm talking? I feel a lot better with that, that sense than at the end of the year. Nah, fuck that. I'm not doing that no more. I got goals that I'm trying to achieve, and I make enough money to achieve those goals. So write the vision on the wall. Make it plain and follow through. This is what I am living by in 2019.